Hi everyone, my name is Fiona. Welcome to the girls' table. Thank you, Shengyu and Teto, for giving us this platform to address the issues that are affecting the girls in tertiary institutions. Today, Ngambala Mankazana is a school and as a factor of CC, a Guma tertiary institutions. And today we're going to be talking about sex for grades and then the economic and political situation in SA Lizwin, how it's affecting the ladies in the tertiary institutions. Ladies, can you please introduce yourselves? Thank you. My name is Jolene Marara from I'm a NAST student doing journalism and media. Thank you, Jolene, for joining us. Thank you. My name is Brightness Babo Nilemoyo from Plawayo Poly. Welcome. Thank you. My name is Brenda Duve. I'm doing IT uh, from Plawayo Poly. Okay, BBC recently, ladies, via uh, AIE documentary that was focusing on the sex for grades, whereby they were saying our um, lecturers were coercing students to have sex with them and then they get good grades. In the Guma institution, that, does that, this really happen? Yeah, this, this is a reality because uh, as uh, students, like for example, I from last, uh, we've seen that happening with girl students. They actually go and sleep with lecturers so that they get better grades, so that they get distinctions. I don't know why they do that. Maybe it's the situation like uh, others where they're coming from, they are not that uh, good in their studies. So they actually want to sleep with lecturers so that they just pass without, without uh, attaining that. They don't have, they don't want to use seven zela bevale. So they're just... So it's an issue of intelligence. Yeah, not that, not, not that they are not intelligent, it's mm. laziness. Mm. So during lectures, there, there are those kids, essing ababoni yoguma lectures. Maybe they'll be going out with uh, abanye. Yeah, so I don't know why they do that. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> the other thing I think, uh, we don't have to blame our lecturers, really? even as students, right? Mm. Let's say I know which will test the next next week, right? Mm -hmm. And then I'm start, and then he, and then assignment time see where maybe I've got less than fifty percent. Oh yes, that's a fail, I know. Mm. And then when we are hamb, I approach with the lecturer. lecturer. As dinile na yeto that thing that five for a mark. Really? Yeah. So all okay. when you see as in the Latin students, it's not about I'm a lecturer as Landai all the time. Yes, I'm a lecturer, they do that sometimes. Oh, when you fail, you say you won't. Just do what you want. Um, you can't do it. You can't do it. Yeah, it's true. And most of the time, it's about us girls, us ladies. I don't know where that thing disappeared, where we can stand for ourselves and you know we do things, we hustle as ladies. Mm -hmm. That thing have disappeared and we really want to push hard but in the end of the day we are looking to men like okay like let's say I'm at school yes. but then as Jolene was saying so the issue is about us if we can actually have something inside of us like maybe no I'm not going to do this I'm going to stand tall no matter the circumstances no matter the hardness of the course or whatever mm -hmm. I'm going to do this so I think it's not all about lectures most of the time it's about knowing ourselves, about us. Because in the end of the day, it's like, when a man comes, like maybe a lecturer is a, is a male, like, he actually see how you act around them, you know? It actually attracts someone. Even a lecturer can say, okay, so Fiona, she smiles every time she says me, you know, something yeah. like that. So actually, we should stand the ground and say, you know, we're professional, we're at class, we're doing this. Abe was witty. I'm a student. He's a lecturer. If we can keep that thing, I think we can go far. Yeah, and okay. um, yeah. to also add on that, we also face uh, students. We also face peer pressure because when you're coming from different backgrounds, we meet different people. Some of them, Ilabiana, we have um, Oshuka Daddy yeah. and all the likes. Yeah. So 
those girls like aba 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 sela ubuntu like they don't they don't aba says tand vela aba sela ndaba la la anything so all they think of is is sex if i have sex with the uh, lecturer i i get better grades okay. if i have sex with a sugar daddy i get money so it's all about sex so this thing is not only happening yeah, my teacher is it's also happening kuma workplaces yeah, just socially yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. especially even i think it comes from the what the upbringing mm -hmm. you know there are those spoiled bread how we call them yes. spoiled bread kids they don't want to work hard but they want everything on the table okay. so actually i think even it goes back to the parents when how do we teach us as girls when we grow up are you teaching me to stand tall? Are you teaching me to do things on my own or to always want someone to make it for me? You understand? Mm -hmm. So if our parents like could educate us as girls, we would know a girl should do this and do this and do this. Because we actually think like now the world has changed. So people think like maybe seducing a man or doing something that is odd can actually pave the way for us, which is a bad thing that us girls should actually do away with that. Yeah. I mean, like personally, so. actually, since I'm in the city, I had a lot of stories on this uh, sex for, okay, sex for great, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then they were saying, "Vele, we have a friend to a lecture. This is gonna happen." So I tried by all means. Ubuti, now we met lecture. I just don't go to the office. I get odd hours. Yeah, you know. What are we as girls, women uh, tertiary institutions? Doing to make sure all the other situations lower are in the guy. When I see a male lecture, I say, "Kasuk shega shego kuna kati." Me am avoid. But what are the girls in these institutions doing? I think uh, what you are saying is true, right? Mm. You can just distance yourself. Mm. Make sure that your coursework and everything, your scholar is sharp, mm. is in order. Mm -hmm. You pass assignments on time. You do everything. You write am am a test wonke. You research yes. and work hard so that you get that 80%, not that 40 yeah. That way, you've just saved yourself. But you then they say, say um, you will fail, whether you buy the and then you no. pass, you will fail still. If you fail, it's right. You will write, you will write, you say, I don't deserve this mark. And then if you know, you deserve it, you can take that issue. Up yeah, but I think the other message to the ladies outside there, it's like, girls, let's work hard. Let's be hard okay, hard. like, I, I just want to be a good role model to the upcoming generation. Mm. So if my child in the near future will be in that same stage where I am right now, mm. uh, like, if I'm doing all things and seducing lecturers and doing what, what am I, what am I setting? Which example am I setting to my future generation? So could we be a role model even to our future generation? If we can stick that in mind that no, we are not doing this for ourselves, but we are doing this for even for the upcoming generation. Or would you, can they look back and say, but that girls, those girls did it. So yes, we are, not, we, we are going to be like our mothers. Can you imagine if your child would come and say like, I took from my mother, you know? And you know, like what you're doing, it's not good. Yeah. Then, yeah. But in well, uh, uh, these um, relationships, okay, normal. I have unyelo in in tertiary institutions. The relationship between a student and the lecturer. Well, I uh, mean, uh, as for myself, I think um, there is no law that says what you shouldn't date a lecturer. But then, there are those lecturers who are. We we'll look at us and see us as their students, like yes. Mina, as an example. I have our lecturer who, who always teaches us, you know, as a student, me as a lecturer, I can't come to you and say, I need sex, you have to do it on your own. So it's up to us, Tina. Tina, yeah. I like we can't. Reputation at Mohamba Slala Lama lecture as well. At Tina, we know where we are coming from, we know our goals, we know what we want to make it on our on our own seasons. A Latina sort of so. I'm a lecturer as well. I don't think what they want that, 
okay. especially some, they don't want that. Tina is so dieted as a student. Okay, well spoken. Okay. Because I do not know that institutions, mm -hmm. their people are as well they make their own decisions, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So is it okay? Ladies. Uh it's not okay. What he as a student over their relationship low lecture. Okay. A relationship here and I have educational and professional, mm -hmm. not that love relationship. Mm -hmm. To be honest, you guys, how can you have a relationship? Low lecture, maybe you know what is already one in like Pavan and all that was a constituent and a classic. Oh, yeah, the other thing, la lati ava ama students, la malechara a cellar wound. Success one and any overlay relationship, lo low lecture, so I'm one way as well, so I famous and all that. But I will call it to be able to work that I'll conquer. Okay. okay, so small on a time at tertiary institutions, Mela Faga Pama measures or with the internet in a high or six for grade. Um, I don't know how, but the thing is, as Jolin said, you go to there is actually no law because people who are going in tertiary institute, some of them they are older. Mm -hmm. uh, they are ready for marriage. Mm -hmm. uh, like for example, in my class, I got people who are actually ready for marriage. They are older, so uh, he or she can even date a lecturer. Okay. So actually, saying Nguti, we shouldn't like people shouldn't date lecturers. I don't know about that. Maybe that person really by Azana out way from school, mm -hmm. but thankfully, I mean I have female lecturers only. But I think it's a thing of being principled. Mm -hmm. I think so. And the, like she, what she was saying, Ubuntu, so I am happy. If even a male lecturer can have Ubuntu and respect me, and we keep it that way. I think we can go a long way. Okay, but say it's a good corner, all sex for great, and then you, we are away. What do we think? Okay, what do you think Uguti Amateshari institutions should do about these issues? I think a thing I want to have with our authorities. Like, he, as government, maybe it's a suggestion box, Uguti, you write something new, Chigalapa. Because okay. even if it happens to me, right, mm -hmm. and then I go maybe with SRC, yes. and then the SRC will tell me, move on, oh, oh, and so, and then I say, lecturers, one, 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 maybe more HOD. Obvious, SRC will make us again, HOD, HOD, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. so one Zima, who would turn them, saying, then I'm feeling up hard. But if I have someone ending up hostel a con, and then he needs to move on, right. that yes. way I think he gave a good assist. Yeah. And uh, I think we also have deans who are willing and always open. Uti, we as students, if we face any challenges, we go there and talk to them. Okay. I think that one is better because even them, they don't talk to anyone. They only talk to you person to person. They help you in a situation. I think those people are the ones who are able to Uti, do away with that because it's wrong. Vele Uti, lecturer. Uh, uh, only for grades because it's not right. So I think if we take our issues to the deans or Amanyama lecturers who are open to us, we talk to them pertaining those issues, I think that will help us. Even us girls, if we can unite, you know, we do what we call, we speak in unison. Mm. Like, if it happens to me, don't laugh at me, because it might happen to you or to your cousin, sister, or something like that. Mm. So if we can actually combine, make a team, together we stand, apart we fall. So it's like, if we do this thing as a team, even if, like, maybe sing our report and bang us, but if we can say, no, we won't stop until they hear us, we will actually find a way. Those days we are moving with times, moving with technology. Mm -hmm. So one way or the other, it will get there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Interesting views there from the ladies. We are going to take a break, and then after the break, brightness will uh, take us through the economics and politics in this country, how it's affecting the ladies and take shari institutions. Mm -hmm. Welcome back. You're still watching the girls' table. 
My name is Brightness Babang Lemoyo, and I'm still with my girls. Ladies, in the last year's school, when Zagalan, Elizabeth, political, economical, I'm a fuel, I acquail, a fuel price, I acquail, who would have we acquail, it transport everything, Jerry acquail. Tina Njangati, see Pilanjan, who would see Tikwanis who survive a situation in Jan. I think it's tough on, on, on the girl child, especially in tertiary institutions. Babu Velema Shona and then next thing you need a place to stay. E.g. from Tina where to institution, NAS cannot accommodate all of its students. So mm. my students are made a thing a Google cell phone. And those people buy color, nee rent. Spalis go rent. Rent is expensive. Umuntu lana every month u thing a grocer. And then the salary of us elevate. I'm a teacher. From 1,000 pound, you need to keep us something like 200 and something for you to rent your own And then next thing, you can cross out. You cross out, you can get only $50. So how do we survive? I'm a pet and how expensive. How do we survive as girls? It's tough on us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And also, in especially on the issue of our sanitary pets. When we look at us as girls, we don't have uh, a lot of alternatives because it's only paid. So we don't know what do we do. But with the boy child, they are, they don't have ama problems faced with this situation. They so it's really tough. I don't know how they're going to do it. Or maybe we a free duty of some sort. So that we ama prizes are here because seriously. Can you imagine I'm going on my monthly periods and then I will have to spend like uh, $15 to get just a pad. Maybe it's some of the girls... No, it's uh, no more than. It's, it's more, more than. Yeah, it's right. right. It was 40, I think. $15, 15 dollars, I think, it's China shops. Those and you can imagine if someone has a heavy flow and maybe is using almost like two packets, full packets. Mm -hmm. So you can imagine every month I'm using $5 to get in town. I'm going to school like from Monday to Saturday. I'm going there. Can you imagine without it cost your school and everything, just on your transport? Yeah. So if at least the government should at least work on if you will, and I'm a prize and a sanitary pets for us girls, it should be a good start because seriously, we are suffering. And it's actually pushing girls to do the things that they, they don't even imagine to do because some of the girls umuntu mai se kutshela istori sakhe why eyenza lokho lawo ekhona lapho yabufunga umnceda but how la madli and in the end of the day uzwa kutshela ukuthi so uthi ngenze ngxa usithi ngistophe lokho which other way should i do it mm. all right uh, as fiona was saying the issue of transport it's really expensive and uh, if you take a look at ama buses those are the those are the only affordable transport modes that we have. But look at the time. Is kati or hambu siya katanga. So maybe kebe gumnyama and it's not safe for a girl child. So those are the issues that we are facing as girls. It's it's really hard. Yeah, and like looking at the economy again. Onga kangela, I can't even print a book. Like I have a, I will have to use a laptop everywhere I go. Maybe, for example, my laptop stays maybe for one hour thirty, and endly I am get ayahamba almost maybe ten hours. And what am I using? Kare my exams that are ongoing. Nibalangani. What am I doing exactly? Ngeti sanguin. Ugozeng tole like e e e like ugozeng nibale. I have to be on town. I have to be on Wi-Fi. I have to be on laugule electricity corner because the economy is forcing me. And ugozeng suga engine it needs a transport again. So you understand with how it affecting us because angsakwa needs even assignment. Can you imagine a page you go print it cost for fifty cents and mina umelengat yes. And now we learn the bus, so everything is becoming very hard for us as students. Only issue of my kids, my kids are we are not ten. You have to wake up and cook because not all of us can afford to cook. Now yeah. we can't afford to cook. And the gas, mm -hmm. the gas is now expensive. Yeah. So you wake up at ten, you start cooking, you have my assignment, and then next day you get ill because you zuko uzakchi. And then you get into town. EQ, your way and nurse is hectic. Now I was go high, go struggle, and go hustle, and go get nail. 
mm-hmm. where I figure after lectures. Yeah. So it actually tough out there. And you know, we are girls, guys, we cannot go at school, see like mass meals and everything. I need a roll on, I need a perfume. Mm. Oh but God. how am I going to, to afford it? I Trust shop. me. Oh, my mom. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. My but hair. Ah. Basic things. You know? <laughs> yeah, but look at the basic things. If you can't afford the basics, so it's really hard yeah. to afford the uh, my nails right. and all Definitely the like So yeah. the situation, it's really affecting the cool Latina girls. Because mm. If you can't afford, is it or is it basic? So, how do you say Yeah, like, and it's basic because I cannot go even to me. You know, yeah. it's... But, 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 yeah. 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 And the other thing, guys, Uma Zubkola Pana, we are going to see me in Swanjan. Oh my God. Say and then Uzukoma Enga Nuya Mala Pana sit, there is a guy in Enga Wako. Uzok Tuz. So, on your back. So how do you feel? Those are the things. But you can't move out because when phone get a person, so yes, cool. yeah, yes, it's really hard for us. And you know some other girls what now do? Omo nyo use siba force to guti atole someone we pumcho vibe lomcho vako kata every day. And Wait. You know, mm. so so oh, you pay home chova or money, yeah, and, and, and you know, pay your lunch. And those things are bad. And, and then what can we do? That's Situation lay mm. hey. you have to pay for that. And what are the risks? Yeah, <laughs> HIV and everything, STI yeah. and all that. Yeah. And oh. it all goes back to the economy. If the economy could at least be better, and then we can afford all those things, yeah. Yeah, ladies, the other thing, manji, since e e situation in I was a little bit about one and we would just but the school fees as thing a transport by and you don't even go there because it's really hectic, trust me. You have to pay for a fees. You have to go gata actually. And Laya be gata conalap. Meaning I mean lum now I'm lay away from go gata as his school. So it might be like in the end of the day. Yeah. And sometimes uh, you can, Avang and we just found a lot of their orphans, Abala Bazali, and it's hard. Like, when I never get to know Malume, Umbeni Bani. So sometimes they are over because Gala Mal, Malume Mele Patalila, Aba Kavantana first before a cannily win. So it's really hard. So, Angas, what he in the valley, how can we be heard? Our salary is totally absurd. Mm. Like my mom's only a whole one thousand. Me la tengi crosser. Cause gate sa unsa kwa ni sugu tengi umpa we school. Now so me dem pegu. So so jamak coslo. And la wasa tengi egi food. So me dem pegi rice. Yeah. How much is the rice? <laughs> okay. The other thing, guys. Uh, there is this. Abantu intabai choi uti mau funu achieve ama kosa kula matrims. Just. Upume Zimbabwe nje uye kwe zinyinda o mepo South Africa o ngapi ngapi umanyama countries. Mm-hmm. What yeah. do you think about that? Se apuma nja na ma passport, mina for example, mm-hmm. mini passport ya mi I took it last year in October, but mm-hmm. even today, anga I told you. So anga zuti se apuma se ye ngapi, se ha manja nisi o zineta, cause you can't go anywhere. It's situation nice for me. Ya apuma nja ne Zimbabwe. <laughs> and the other thing, Ungazu Pume Konang, Konape Zimbabwe, Ufi and Ali, we have to go Shalinga, Ujin, during East Cassan Sana, or Satin Sevens. And as a girl child, um, you are exposing yourself to other situations, and Jenny trafficking, mm-hmm. and then Ufi and Ali, sex slave. Do we trust the people, Asia Givo, out there? Mm-hmm. Do we know the correct institutions to go to to apply with this Pume Pandle release? Yeah. yeah, and most of the time, even if I have a, a better accommodation outside mm. there, but still, there's that thing, Eoguti Zimbabwe still need me as a girl. I have to empower others and make my country better, but how am I going to do that, Vele? So it's forcing me, Vele, the economy is forcing us to see yeah. Hambe outside. Yeah, true. And economy. in the end of the day, Mbanoya Salalapa, oh. a builder up. Yeah. yeah, and it's really painful because yeah. we are educated. And then as Puma Lapas Fundile, we have uh, our grades are best, but in Ale, what are we going to do? 
Say a seven, the my kitchen and all the lights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, our humble and the standard say to lend the service from the eye. So the situation it's really tough for us girls. I feel like even yeah, my ladies, my tertiary institutions. This is the time where some people will start taking advantage of us. Because these people are desperate. They were from Puma, and then they just come to you, sell you a dream. And then to today, but then when you will find a better future for yourself, also when yeah. in the wrong places. Because I think Abanye is the best born as a. What should I? I'm going to sing with Benjamin. Like we could sing with me, we have a L A A O M I L or something like that. Too thirsty. He want to quench his thirst or something like that. You just look at university student and teacher institute student and be like, I know if I go there, you know, everything will just go well with me. Yeah. And we have a uchone ilang along with lambi. Can you imagine if you are a res? Abazali ba se ka and everything. And kona pa uga patale mali res patale on the school fees. And funugu la funugu la le school and everything. Nya enzan na nya na la panase bu ilugti asinge ne modern. What do you do? So you see, it's situation actually. Yeah, as people can actually go back and blame a girl child, but the economy is actually driving a girl child crazy yeah. to do some of the things that they shouldn't do. And in that case, I think that would lead us back to the sex for grade. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Because we want to say focus more on what we provide for Emilia and Baba. And in that time, we lose it. It's so bad. Yeah. And true. then next thing, we lecture us is that uh, they are Kulumela, six for grades. Yeah. And then to, to add on, Kampan, also Zavuma, I would also go to the same class in Lambi. Hallelujah. Also go to the same class in a printing assignment, and bring a printing module in a funeral. Unzima civil, Uzo, Utina, Ubono, Utava, and Witi. That's the only option. Okay. Yes. I just go to that guy, I need to. Lam Nimni. And then in below it, but oh, but in the uncle, I have a visit in the future. So, Gunzima, Nila is cutting us in. Okay, guys, uh, do you think it will help you in the would see maybe one day is into this? I change, and then the lattices of assessing and sell a stress is a transport. The sun, sun, do you think it was a change? And yeah, our fingers are crossed. <laughs> it's really hard. It's really hard because uh, everything is it. Everything immediate. But as girls, we try by all means. Uguti, we empower each other. Cause, like for example, there are abanyabatala. Like even at home, Mali, abas from decide to do basic things like ama or sunlight liquid and all those things so that we sell Charlie's Mali like to help ourselves. So. We are trying by all means, but you hope. Angazi. I am born with a hope. Angazi. I can look great to 2004. I was told things will get better. I was told things will get better. But then, we are still struggling. Thank you, Lily. And then, I will hope, even in the future, I see myself as a broke person. Ah, but it's <laughs> not because 2004, I was told, I was a bang, I was a bang, I was a improve. 2010, I to grade seven. I went to school. I went to school. I went to school. But in Zimbabwe, it's getting worse. Yeah, only like, hope. yeah. Like, especially with you, because long. I mean, personally, I don't know about that. And, yeah, because I think. I we actually say it to Omo Guti Tina Spilang Omo Sai Zimbabwe. We're just living with Ikraisi and Kulunkulu. We're surviving, but Konolo Kuguti, we can actually think in other terms. Maybe I can do a little business that can keep me up and everything. But as an economy, Guti Zimbabwe Ngalunga, we actually. We don't know about that. Only uh, God knows. Only God yeah. knows. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys. Uh, yeah. I have hope. Guti Ngalunga. As Kanye Len was 2008, Guti Wagunja. But he, and then he, let's say 2010 was it. That was then. Last year. That was then. 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 That
really. It's but the question was, will Zimbabwe like be a, like another country, like maybe for example, economically mm. developed, something like that? The question is really... Time. Ah. How much time? Oh. Because, okay, now, from 2004, economy yeah. to Iloke okay, bad. But we really can't say Uti, we can give up. Because mm. Tina, as, girl, as girls, Tina, we are meant to do what we, we have targeted. If we say we want to do this, we have to do it. So we just have to stick to the education. We have to learn. Even in seven years, we have to learn. Since Fundi said to do is into M7 years and all the likes. Because in case if jobs open up, you can't blame anyone. We just blame our way. So, I'm going to tell you that I'm going to tell you that I'm If an opportunity comes, then you have to grab it. Yeah. At least they have. But at least what are they doing? We have certificates on our land. But at least in the end of the day, we have to do it yeah. because we have to learn very in the end of the yeah. day. Because mm -hmm. even these days, now we're from down in Gaza now. Because to educate the girl child, yeah. to educate the nation, yeah. something like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, guys. So, since the economy, do you think it's in a as a must do them? Still a role you would see singer, singer, each inch. We are the yeah. future leaders of tomorrow. So, Tina, it is in a change because if our elders are failing, then who will do that? So, Tina, we have to change the situation for ourselves and for the coming generation. Yeah, back when I graduated, they failed. So, you win, or what is it? No, I feel like no. as girls, men are like this pure platform, go politics. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then they see what we can do, mm -hmm. the power that we have to change the yeah. nation. I think we can actually do better. I think so. Because if we are united, we can do this thing. Mm -hmm. So now, if we are given a chance, we will do it. Okay. I think even we, we actually need someone who is youthful, you know, moving with times. Someone who can actually admit to you know, these things are affecting a girl child. And here we need a change. So if we can have someone who's a youth and is a girl child and understands our needs and how we are suffering, mm. then yeah. Good to see girls in tertiary institutions. Abale possibility a good future. Abale vision a good. And then we mentor them. And mm. then we have a good political okay. field. And then they represent the women. And then they bring change. Yeah. I think that will work. Thank you for watching the girls' table. See you next week. Thank you.